How's it going guys, it's your Deeb here and it's time for episode number 4 of my Mikkel Pedersen BA Pro Series. We left off episode number 3 with Mikkel Pedersen dominating in the preseason and uh, everyone's looking forward to see what's going to happen in the regular season and here we go, we're in Hockey Night in Canada and the Vancouver Canucks are raising a banner but nope, it's not the cup banner, it's the President's Trophy banner, I guess it's a solid achievement. But who really, who cares about that? Everyone wants a cup. So, we go and we're starting on the first line, I think, with Everly and Hall. Mikael Pedersen is trying to make a name for himself in this league, the NHL. And to start off, he calls for the pass. And I'll let you guys experience the rest of this moment. I always like to open on the road. You get your legs under you, then you come home and put it on your... So that's right, a rocket shot on his first uh, shift, first shot, and that's a goal. Uh, what a shot by Miko Pedersen, and that's the kind of stuff you're going to be seeing uh, from him. Super Mario-esque right there, who also scored on his uh, first shift and first shot. And then he would make it 2 nothing with about 8 minutes left in the uh, first. We're up, Edmonton's up 4-1, and just like that, Miko Pedersen's got a chance. The shot gets blocked. But he calls for the pass from Hall, makes a beautiful behind-the-back pass and a clapper, and that's his first NHL hat-trick in his first game, and we're up 5-1 to one over the Vancouver Canucks. Another nice play here, the fake, the clapper, and he brings it in, and that shot is just on fire. That's his fourth goal of the game, and he is just pouring it on. It looks like he's the real deal. And just to add a little bit more emphasis to the victory, he decides, you know, he's going to drop the gloves with Maxime Lapierre. A player that no one really likes, uh, except for Vancouver fans at this point, or unless he went somewhere. Uh, so Mikael Pedersen drops the gloves. He keeps throwing punches. He has Maxime Lapierre on the ropes, and he drops him with to win the fight. And just like that, he scores four goals, one assist, and he wins a fight. You know what that means. That's a Gordie Howe hat trick in his first NHL game. So the number one overall prospects living up to the hype. And he's got four goals, one assist, five points. Two hits, 15 shots, a plus 5 rating for the first star in that game. So we go into our next game, and this is the home opener against LA. So I'll let you guys uh, watch the intro just to pump you guys up a little. See how Miko Patterson was feeling. So four goals, one assist, and five points coming into the home opener. The fans are expecting a show no less in the first game at the Rexall place. And Oil Town is expecting big things from Mikael Pedersen, but it's one nothing already. And Gagne would make it two in the third. And so far, Edmonton's held scoreless, and so is Mikael Pedersen. And then a tip in to make it 3 nothing, and that's how the game would finish. A minus 2 rating, 9 shots, no goals for Mikael Pedersen, also 2 penalty minutes. So not the best uh, home opener for him, but... We end up going on a three-game road trip. And to start off against San Jose in our first game, and Mikael Pedersen with breakout speed, and he'd finish to make that 2-1. to one. We're in, uh, L we're in uh, Cali, California for all three games of this uh, road trip. And he would end up sniping it past uh, Niami for a second goal of the game, but that's to no avail. We would lose 6-3, but he gets the third star in a losing effort. So a good job there by Mikael Pedersen. Two goals, one assist for three points. We go into our next game against the Anaheim Ducks also. Another California team and we start off by dropping the gloves with Lucas Spisa. Uh, Miko Pedersen trying to pump up his team a little bit. Uh, feels like they need to get going here. So this was actually a really good fight. A couple of punches thrown, good blocks, that kind of all that kind of stuff. And in the end we nail and Mika would nail punch on Spiza. He get him to just on the edge of the uh, energy stat, and just like that, Spiza would hit Pedersen and uh, would drop him for the loss on that fight. But that's a good fight. That pumps up both teams and it pumps up the crowd. Not the crowd you want, but 
it definitely gets uh, your players going. Now after that, we're up 2 nothing, and just like that, what a move by Pedersen. It completely moved full Heller, and that will make it 3 nothing. And that's how the game would finish. Another third star effort. One goal, two, two hits, and four shots for a plus one rating. So we're doing a little bit better. We've got two goals, and uh, we've got a uh, pretty good, pretty good uh, going so far. And just like this, Pedersen gets a breakaway. And Hemsky put it away on the uh, rebound to make it one nothing. We're in LA to try to get revenge for the loss, but it just one goes to a shootout, and it'd be cool. Patar scoring the game winner in in the shootout. We one goal, I mean one assist, one point, and plus one rating in that game. So a decent job so far for uh, Mikael Pedersen. He's still uh, getting points for his team. Only one team he's been held off the score sheet. And here we are in the Battle of Alberta, and to start off, two, mi two minutes uh, into the game, a nice breakaway there, and he put it away for the first of the game. We're up 2 nothing, and he holds the wrist shot and just fires it past Kiprasov to make it 3 nothing. Nice play, play to get the puck off Giordano, holds it, and he snipes past Kiprasov, and then a 97 wrist shot power that Mikko Pedersen has is just uh, phenomenal in this in this uh, NHL these days. Another chance on the breakaway, and just like that, he gets his fourth of the game, his second four-goal game in his NHL career, and that's in his, so far, six games gone. Uh, eight shots, a plus-five rating. We end up simming the next game, and uh, Edmonton would win 6-4. Mikko Pedersen had two goals, actually, in that game uh, for a plus-three rating on three shots, so not just uh, in the games that I'm playing. He's also dom doing decently well in the sim. We go in our next, the final game of this episode, uh, which is will be end the month of October and to start off 1-1 one, one, boom on the power play calls for the sh uh, shot a nice clapper to top chatter there to make it 2-1 to one. so he gets a goal in that game and we're still getting points uh, this one goes to OT and Nuge will put it away in OT to make, win the game 5-4 and Colorado at this point was 7-1-1 one, and one. I mean 7-1-0 oh, I think so we gave them uh, their second uh, loss in the season a decent job there, even though Miko Pedersen finished minus three in that game, uh, we won the game. So, that's episode number four. Uh, I don't know if you guys, I'm probably going to sim a lot more uh, in the season because I want to focus on like the playoffs, which will be a lot more interesting because I'll have like at least four to seven games per episode for each round, which I think you guys might find uh, a lot more interesting than regular season games. But right now, Miko Pedersen has been tearing it up in October. Uh, the next episode, I'll have the uh, uh, three stars of the month, which will hopefully feature Miko Pedersen. We'll see what the NHL decides on that one. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you have any suggestions on what you guys want to see, either more games or less games, I think I might just uh, either sim and play, sim, play, sim, play, that kind of stuff, or sim, sim, play, sim, play, sim, sim, play, sim, play, just to uh, get through the season as fast as possible, but I also don't want to get relegated uh down a few lines because I think I ended up playing on the second line after a couple games even though I was leading the league in points they decided to put Nuge on the first line which is to be expected since Nuge is a better player overall but when a guy tears up like that you just don't uh, drop him a few lines but anyways hope you guys enjoyed that video uh, I'm actually really enjoying playing these via pro games uh, even if I get held scoreless I'm able to try to create nice plays whereas in hut you're trying to win uh, I mean I also am trying to make better plays but main thing you want to do is get pucks and hut so i keep i'll keep on making these uh be a pros all the way until nhl 14 where hopefully that be a pro version will be uh, a little bit better i still don't have any plans yet but if you guys continue supporting this series i will keep on making them so anyways please leave a like uh if you enjoyed this i do greatly appreciate it uh, leave a comment. Let me know any any suggestions toward this Bio Pro series. What you guys want to see? I'm also going to be showing uh, the stats of Miko Pedersen and Alexi Vanga towards at the end of each episode, which I kindly f kind of uh, forgot in this episode. But uh, forgive me for that. Also subscribe if you haven't. I know I hit 300 subs. I thank you guys already. Let's play hot, and I'll thank you guys again uh, for the support you're giving me. Greatly appreciated. And uh, keep up the support. I will keep reading their comments, your comments, and trying to. Uh, take all your uh, your uh, suggestions for hut and uh, suggestions suggest suggestions for making my, my videos uh, I also have a giveaway for 300 subs so I decided uh, on making a riddle I'll might I'll probably upload that tomorrow or uh, later tonight but I doubt it I'll probably be tomorrow and also early FC will be out tomorrow so look forward to that all right guys stay safe have a great week and I'll see you guys later peace follow me on Twitter for the latest updates on my videos